Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. I'm here this evening to do the monthly reading for February 2018 for the sign of Capricorn. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get right into your shuffle. going on with Capricorn for the month of February 2018? What's going on in their overall energy for the whole month? Their wealth and finances, their hearth in your home, their intimate love, their challenges for the month of February. And I bring a beautiful message from Spirit as well. Thank you for this. As this deck stands are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for the spread, for the general monthly reading for the month of February 2018 for the sign of Capricorn, are the top five cards, the cards for Capricorn for their spread. Nice. Thank you. Nice top. Okay, let's get into it. Overall energy for the month of February, you've got the Queen of Swords. She's all about resilience. Your finances and wealth. Oof. Five of Swords. Conflict. In a mixed bag with these readings this month. They're all over the place. Oh my God, Capricorn. Five of Cups. Sadness within the hearth, the home, your love. Oh. Come on. Your challenges. The full new beginnings. Interesting. Message from Spirit. Three of Wands, motivation. All right. Not a very strange looking reading this is. They've all been strange this month. Queen of Swords, resilience. I'm feeling for some of you this is more of an energy than an actual person. Um, if it's an actual person, this person is highly intelligent, but very driven. This person commands respect and they stand their ground no matter what issue they're on. Um, they put their own interest first. They have great insight and can see the truth in a flash. That's a good gift to have. Your, um, as the U card though, if you identify with this. This card overall shows strength of character, your integrity, what you're made of, how resilient you are, how quick you bounce back, what the world throws out to you, how you deal with it, and how you react to that. The advice of the card is to be prepared to make some very, very strong decisions right now. That's your overall energy for the month. I'm hearing serious tone through the month. Um, some big decisions. Your keywords for this card are intelligence, independence, leadership, insight, intolerance, determination, justice. It's going to be a month of accumulation of something. It could be money. It could be saving money. Um, determined. You've got goals this month and you're determined to reach them no matter what. It's like that expression, nothing but death will keep me from it. 
and that's what I'm what I'm picking up for you for you for some of you. It's a general reading. Um, and your goal is to make everything turn out right. Somebody may be uh, waiting on um, a woman as well to make a final decision on you for you in on your behalf. It's something that you're trying to attain. There, there could be a woman at the helm of that, um, making a final decision here on something. Your uh, wealth and finances. What I got here is five of swords and conflict. Not enough money to do the things you want to do. Are they fit things that money is not coming? You're not broke. You're not in a poor house, but you're wanting extra money. And um, you've got a goal. There's something you're reaching for. And it means the world to you. It's important. You're afraid. You're feeling some fear that you won't meet the obligations that you have committed yourself to. Um, there could be arguments. And, you, and you're just tired of it all. Just tired of it all. Conflict, arguments, not seeing eye to eye. Not just necessarily you not seeing eye to eye, but the people aren't seeing eye to eye with you either. This is this is both camps kind of a thing. Um, it's making you feel the word as tarot uses battle worn. I'm tired of this. I just want to get to where I need to be. Um... Things could get a little bit out of hand as well. Arguing over money. Somebody could be very cruel in their words and unkind. And it could put a wound in your relationship. Um, hard feelings, hurt feelings. This card also shows communication problems within the family unit as well. There's, there's financial stress going on here for an attainment of something. And you're like, where's the extra money coming from in order to do this and carry through with this? You don't know where it's coming from. And it seems like it's going to take a long, long time. That's your attitude. It's going to take forever. It's never going to happen. Um, hurtful oppositions within the family. You should be on board together. Um, everybody should be on the same page. And supporting each other. And that's not what's going on. You're, you find you're facing more opposition. Than anything else within your own family unit you're being unfairly ignored or unfairly overruled and you want to be heard you got a point to make and by jesus you're going to make sure somebody hears it good side of this card is everything comes up to the comes up comes to the surface and everything comes out in the open um i don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing in this case for some the advice is to stand your ground anyway <clears throat> There's no need for anybody to respond, and, and I do mean you Capricorn, there's no need of anybody to respond in an aggressive way. You can be assertive and stand and be assertive. If this means that much to you, don't let anything knock you down or back you up. Um, just don't become aggressive. There's no need for going that far, but be assertive, and there's a world difference between the two. The keywords are opposition and arguments, some unfairness. But there's resilience there. You're bound, hell, and determined. When Capricorn sets their sights on something, they're like a, a hungry dog with a bone. You'll never get that bone out from between their teeth. There's no way in hell. They'll rip your hand off first. It's all a metaphor, but that's the level of determination that I'm picking up on. I'm hearing there's no choice in the matter. There's no such thing as lose in this situation. I'm going to win. We're going to get where we, where we need to be. I'm going to get where I need to be. I'm going to get what it is I want. I'm going to accomplish this. Um, there, There's no such word as failure. So that's great. I mean, your resilience is through the roof. And you know what? As long as you keep thinking that way, you will make it happen. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm just saying it's not going to come as easy as you thought. A lot of this surrounding around money, holding things up. Um, within the heart, the home. And I'm feeling a lot of sadness due to that card, too. Because the five of cups come up and it, and it represents sadness. And it's all because of this, because of the money. It's, it's um, trying to get something accomplished and coming from the best part of you, from your heart. And you're asking the universe, why won't you, why won't you bring this to me? I'm feeling hurt. I'm scared. I'm upset. And, I'm, and it's coming from a place of love, generosity. Um, and you want to follow through on something and there's something that, that, that it's just like things keep getting in the way and it's starting to, 
um, it's be it's not depression. It's just pure sadness. Your heart is hurting and you're sad about something. Um, there could be an unexpected break from somebody for some of you within the family unit. Could be loss of a relationship for some. You be you could be feeling whatever this is. This isn't for everybody, but for those going through it, you will leave you feeling bereft, confused. How did this happen? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Like a child, an innocent child having no idea why this is happening. Um, some of you are struggling. I'm um, holding on to something from your past as well. The present isn't your past. Today isn't your past. Some of you are feeling haunted by guilt and haunted by regrets. That's a horrible, horrible place to be in. Um, <clears throat> here's the advice of the card. Look for ex um, and accept support wherever you can find it right now. Anybody wanting to reach out and aid and help you in any way, let them do so. It doesn't really matter at this point how you get there and get what you want. The point is that you get there. Okay. The um, situation, so says Tarot, is not hopeless. You will get through this. You will get through it. It'll be lessons well learned. And I hear you saying never again. <laughs> never am I going through anything like that again. That was too hard. But you made it happen. That's what I'm hearing. But your keywords for this card to being highlighted through the month is unhappiness, feelings of dejection, negative thoughts, um, hurt feelings, disruption, feelings of abandonment, feeling like you're alone in this, feelings of confusion as well. You're going to get through this. It's just going to be rough. A lot of lessons learned. You just have to hold on and not give in. If you give in, that's your own fault if it doesn't come out. Right? This reading centering all around one issue is somebody going after something, wanting it so bad they can taste it. And nothing but block after block after delay after delay. And it just seems to be taking forever. And there are moments when it feels completely, totally hopeless, like you'll never get there. But you know in the logical side of your brain, if I just give up, then for sure I'm never going to get there. As long as I try, I've got a chance. I've got a, I've got a hope and a prayer. Your challenges for the month is new beginnings. It's a fool. These are your challenges for February. And this is how life huh, can be. This is a beautiful card for you, even though it's in your challenges. You've got to be able to see past the clouds. Sometimes, you know, we see clouds and then we get overwhelmed and all we see is clouds. We can't see anything above, under, beyond, on either side. We can't find the sun. We're stumbling. We're falling. What it is, it's exhaustion and fatigue. And sometimes you need to just stop. And you need to take a break, even though you're panicked and there's this time constraint. You don't have the luxury of time. You feel rushed, almost panicked. You can't get things to move fast enough. Um, and your challenge for the month is going to stop. You need to stop when that happens. Okay. And you need to take a step back away for a couple of days. Release yourself from it altogether. So you come back, when you come back the second time, you come back even stronger, refreshed, better prepared is what I'm hearing for you. The card is here to tell you you're on the brink of a brand new path in life and a wonderful chance is awaiting you. Follow your destiny, new works, relationships, be practical, make sure that your dreams are realistic. Listening to your intuition will guide you and help focus you on your goals. Don't be distracted by other people, their thoughts, their opinions, their suggestions. Reinvent yourself if you have to. There's a bright new future in a brand new territory coming up for some of you. That's beautiful. Um, there's going to be a journey over land, a long, long, long journey over land. And maybe for some over sea, over water. The advice though, make sure you look, use your logic, be realistic. See things for what they really are, not for what you necessarily want them to be. If you like what you say, go ahead, go for it. Dive right in, go right ahead. Keywords are risk and innocence, de uh, departure, discovery, journeys, and starting over. Starting over. 
beautiful card to have. A lot of good feelings with that card. That's what your challenge is. Um, and it's just taking care of you first so that you can carry through with whatever this big thing is that's going on. Your message from Spirit, Three of Wands, Motivation. What a great card. What a great card. It's a great card to have. Um, this is a card that has a lot of high energy. This is coming out now towards the end of the month here, too. So this is how the month's going to end. I mean, it started off really, really rough for you. Very overwhelming. Um, but this is a card of, um, and this is your message from Spirit. So there you go. Energy, enthusiasm to everything. And even in love, it predicts new relationships for some. Celebrations, engagements and weddings for others. This is um, a brilliant card when it comes to travel. Ever heard, just heard everything, all the ducks are in a row. Everything is falling into place for anybody planning on taking a big trip. Everything's going to fall into place. Um, the card is here to tell you as well. A dynamic attitude brings you great results. So keep yourself open, quick to change, open mind. Um, finding unusual ways to solve dilemmas can bring success in you, um, excuse me, in you getting your message across to anybody else that needs to hear the message that's coming across. Your communications are going to open. You had some blocks at the beginning, running into roadblocks, running into other people, uh, opposing you, not listening to you, um, hurting your feelings. That's all going to open up at the end of the month. All that weight's going to be lifted off. That's been kind of bearing you down. Um, it's like a happily ever after for you at the end of the month. It's all going to come together, but boy, oh boy, oh boy. She's starting off some rough. The advice is to think laterally. That means think sideways thinking, not just outside the box, but you're taking a whole new step, things in a whole new direction. Don't be afraid to leave your mind wide open to new possibilities that come your way. Um, try new ways to fire communications and your creativity as well. Allow the color to come back into your world. I just heard for somebody. Your keywords are travel, relationships, freedom, openness, weddings, originality, success, the arts, and even sports comes to the foreground on this card. That was a great reading. Now I'm going to see if we can get a message from the angels for you. What a month. The, the readings this month have been, cancer wasn't too bad. That's mine. But it wasn't too bad for a change. Okay. We have one angel message for Capricorn, please. You guys are my last reading for the month, please. I always feel like, I don't drink, but I feel like if I was ever going to Crack open a case of bubbly, bottle of bubbly. This would be the time at the end of all the readings. <laughs> they're, they're long and there's so much work. Oh my goodness. So it's a good feeling. A really good. I'm glad that your reading, your spread, ended on a really good note for you. Um, I'm sorry for the bluntness. Um, I'm telling you, you got to, you know, um, a pretty emotional, mental, intellectually draining month. Um, trying to, 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 to work around something, to make something come about. Frustrations. You're going to be all right, though. It's going to work out in the end. Anything that's really worth having is worth working for. Comes too easy. No fun in that. All right, I'm going to cut. As this deck stands, is this the angel message coming forward for the signs of Capricorn that are viewing this reading for this general monthly spread for February 2018 is the top card, the correct card for Capricorn. Could I feel the pull, please? Home foot up a bit. 
pendulum has been so lazy today. There we go. I just felt it. There we are. Okay, good. Thank you. You may stop. Beautiful. What did we pull, Capricorn? The chariot. The chariot. Archangel Metatron. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, and public recognition. This is great because your last card, here's the funny thing. I don't know if I'm in a strong place of manifestation. I'm just thinking things and they're popping up everywhere. Now, when I pull the three of wands for you, okay, in the Met Movement, I was going to say it out loud and I didn't. I guess I didn't have to. I was going to say this is as good as the chariot because it's all about movement, moving forward. Um, and, and that was your message from Archangel uh, Metatron. What I'm going to do is show you the card and then I'm going to pull the block and give you the full message. So we ring the messages out of the cards, everything that we can get. But there's Archangel Metatron there. Isn't that something? Wow. Okay. That is a Major Arcana as well. Card number seven. Um, I can't believe that, that showed up. I was going to say it and I didn't. But I was thinking it. It's been happening. I don't know what's going on. The manifest a truckload of money right now. How come it never works for money, eh? Here we go, Capricorn. Here, this is the final word on these monthly readings. You guys are it. The chariot. Congratulations, says Archangel Metatron. This card means you've successfully balanced a recently challenging situation. Love it. Your ability to see both sides, your ability to take action and to make decisions has garnered you approval, respect, and gratitude from others to you. So bask in the joy of what you have accomplished. When I tell you, rough month, eh? Uh, it's wow, it's just beautiful. Stay calm, stay grounded, and be clear about what you're trying to achieve. It's important to show self control, determination, and the willingness to go the distance at this time. Exercise control firmly but kindly with other people. Additional meanings of this card self discipline, sheer willpower. You're going to be feeling that through the month, too, a bit by willpower alone that you're getting where you need to be. A great leap forward, a promotion or award, travel modes of transportation as well. could be a new vehicle or something, um, a new way of traveling to where it is because you guys are going on a big trip somewhere. Archangel Metatron can increase your motivation and energy levels so that you'll accomplish your priorities. Metatron was, uh, uses a sacred geometric shape called a Merkaba or Metatron's cube to warp time, which enable you to instantly manifest your dreams into reality. Is that what's going on with me? I'm experiencing Metatron's cube. There's too many things are popping up here. This is just wild. Oh my heavens. Um, that was your reading, Capricorn. I hope it gave you some guidance. Just hold on. It's got, you, you got a happy ending coming. All the hard work, all the stress, the endurance you're going to need to get through, you're going to get through it. Don't worry about it. Um, take it baby steps one moment at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. Okay, so if you like that reading, you like something personal and private, look down below the video window, the show more section, um, and uh, read what's there, and then ship me off an email. I'll get you taken care of. Also, if you like, you're all more than welcome to join us on Facebook under groups, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. It's a closed and private group of like-minded individuals like me and like you, and you're safe there, and it's great, and it's educational, and it's entertaining. It's just a really, it's a little world within itself. We're a family in it now, and you're welcome to join us there. Um, so if anybody else is looking for me, you can always find me here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes, and if I'm not here, I'm walking down below on the beach along the water's edge to hold the highest, mightiest tides in the whole world. The beautiful and bountiful Bay of Funday. And no matter where you find me, here or there, chances are you're going to find me waiting on the next 
high tide. Peace in so that you can share that love out. Um, the best of luck to you in February. From the bottom of my heart to yours. We're just getting into it now, the brand new year. She's just starting, just starting to feel it. Just starting to feel it a little bit. So I wish you all the best of luck and I hope to see you back again real soon. Bye for now.